Hi everybody, I'm Kelly. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome in. Today I'm going to be playing for the first time a completely blind playthrough of Mass Effect 2. This is the Legendary Edition that I got off Xbox Game Pass. It provides all three games, which I thought was really awesome. If you guys haven't gone and checked out the first Mass Effect playthrough, I would highly recommend going back and checking it out to see some of the bigger choices that I had to make in Mass Effect 1 that will definitely play a big role in Mass Effect 2. So I'm looking forward to seeing how all of our decisions that we made in Mass Effect 1 are gonna be portrayed in Mass Effect 2. I think it's really cool how they link the games together and it's not just like a sequel to a game where it kind of just forgets about the past and it really harps on your your actual gameplay. I think that is something that is amazing about this game and one of the things that I'm really looking forward to. When I first picked up Mass Effect 1, I actually had no idea that it was a dialogue game. I had no idea it was so dialogue heavy where you get to make your own choices. So if you haven't checked out those videos, I highly recommend going back, even if it's just like the first one and the last one and a couple in between. I usually title them or put in the description if they're like main story. I think I only had a couple videos that had just like side quests. They were very like side quest heavy, but for the most part, I stuck to the main storyline in that one. With Mass Effect 2 and 3, I would love to do a bit more side questing and spend some more time getting to know our crew members and kind of focusing on everything. Remember in the comments below that I have not played this game ever. I haven't seen anything about it. Somehow I've been living under a rock and know absolutely nothing about the storyline in this game. So please make sure that you're not posting spoilers. I love tips and tricks from my community, but please make sure that the spoilers are kept to a minimum slash none. <laughs> I love reading through my comments. As you guys know, if you're coming over from Mass Effect 1, I love interacting with the community here. So you'll find me in the comment section with you guys talking about things that we've done or decisions that I've made and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to it. Just make sure you're keeping spoilers out of the equation. I've been super, super excited to hop into Mass Effect 2. If you guys came over from Mass Effect 1, you know how excited I've been to hop in today. So without further ado, let's get started. So this already looks so different. I know that the graphics are probably going to be a little bit different because I believe they're like maybe three to four years apart. I think Mass Effect 1 came out in like 2007. And I think this game, the second one came out in like 2010 because I remember it being like a year earlier than Skyrim. So I'm excited to see how the graphics are and, and how different it is. Um, okay, so we can just import our character. Nice. Um, save one. Ira Shepard, level 52. So we get to just import. Nice. All right, so the age old question. So I know a lot of you guys that watch the Mass Effect 1 videos thought that I should bump it up to hardcore. Seeing how is how I'm like very new to Mass Effect 2, I think I'm gonna keep it at veteran. Um, just because I know it did seem a little bit easy in Mass Effect 1, but from what I've seen in the comments on my very last video in Mass Effect 1, um, people were saying that the combat in this game is very different and it's also a little bit more challenging. So that's good. I'm excited for the challenge because I think at Veteran, I think I should have bumped it up to Hardcore in the first one for sure. I just... I got used to playing that way and I didn't want to change it, so I didn't end up doing it, but I think we're going to stay with Veteran. If it's still too easy, we will bump it up to Hardcore, but for now, I'm going to stick with Veteran. Subtitles, Squad Power, Auto Save, all good things. And Auto Level Squad only, okay. All right, so we've got Ira Shepard, Level 52, Infiltrator. Command Shepard followed the Paragon path, which we did. We had a little bit of Renegade. It was like very slight. Rex survived the mission on Vermeer. Alenko was killed on Vermeer. R.A.P. Alenko. The council was lost during. The council was lost, unfortunately. And Commander Shepard recommended Captain Anderson for the seat on the council, which we did. I did.
Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth? We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. Wow, she's pretty. And it's up to us to stop them. Who's that? The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero. A bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. Cerberus. Isn't that the one month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, humanity seized political control of the galaxy? Now the human-led council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers, enormous machines that eradicated all advanced civilizations every 50k years, have returned. To quell the rumors, the council is... Happened last time. I wanted to read the rest. The Normandy! It's like coming into your favorite show after like a season's been gone and like you see all your favorite things again. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! What's happening? Presley! Oh. Kinetic barriers down! Multiple hole breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! What the heck? <gasps> oh my god! Shepard! Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? It's Liara. Um, they damn well better. <gasps> I'm not doing this just so they can find our frozen corpses. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Joker's still in the cockpit. Oh my god. You won't evacuate. I'm not leaving. No, you have to go. You, there's no time to argue. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Oh my god. What is Seven. happening? Liara, go. Now. Aye, aye. The Normandy. All of our crew. Everybody in. Go, go, go. There's Dr. Chakwa. Get to Joker in the cockpit on the upper deck of the Normandy. Mayday! 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 <gasps> this is SSV Normandy! Oh my gosh! All of our stuff! <gasps> this is so sad! We've suffered heavy damage! 
so sad i was so excited to see the normandy again all right hopefully we can get out of here it looks like the cockpit might be in some sort of like gravity holder or something i don't know somehow it's locking itself up which is good for joker he needs to get out of here what is he doing come on joker we have to get out of here no, I won't abandon the Normandy. Oh. I can still save her. No, you have to go. Don't throw your life away. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Oh, Joker Help me space. Up. They're coming around for another attack. Suit on? <gasps> we don't have oxygen. Oh my god! What? Are you serious right now? What? How do you start a video game that way? Wow, what a way to start a game. Holy moly. Oh. Did we just like die for real? We just died. We have to make a new character. What an intense way to start a new game. Holy crap. What is this? Mass Effect Genesis is an interactive comic, comic that summarizes the events of Mass Effect 1. I'm like, my heart is pounding. I got so many chills during all of that. Would you like to review the story so far? An interactive comic. That sounds cool. What a way to start a game. Holy moly. Just another routine mission. Oh, this is sad. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make. The paths you choose. That turn the routine into anything but. Oh my course, god, what the heck? It started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy. Captain Anderson's new ship when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Alenko. A good kid. Sorry, loyal, babe. by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core. Tough, disciplined. Ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive. 
Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. This is cool. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Lieutenant Alenko made the mistake of getting too close. I hit him with some type of energy. I grabbed him and threw him out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. I could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Udina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Udina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite Spectres could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest-looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. Rex. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led us to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime. And the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, and disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace that they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions but not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task, bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I'd need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction, Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species, Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the Beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Caden was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I told Liara about how I felt. Apparently, she felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission, finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead, Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved the queen of a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni queen. The queen's drones were everywhere, and they were not happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone, with the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. 
He'd somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Venezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer. But we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed, violently. Rex wanted the Genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split my team into two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign, the Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he'd found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence. But he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Caden was a good man. And a great soldier. But I had to choose. And I chose Ash. His death that was, was so the last sad. time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Caden's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we put our feelings aside for the sake of the mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died like every species before them, but a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays, by sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reapers' return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and reestablish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He'd caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. 
And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope that the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Council fleets battled Saren's army outside the Citadel, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council could be replaced. The fleets were needed here and now if we were going to defeat Sovereign. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet. The battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left to me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician, ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be placed before him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier, tough but fair but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned cleanup duty. Routing out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Except not. We were being hunted down. By something. Wow, that was awesome. That was a really, really cool recap. I... I don't Commander know. Commander Shepard has been recovered. What? The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Recovered? What are they, rebuilding us? Is this the fifth element? Absolutely perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. We're being rebuilt. What? This is amazing. It said Miranda. That was the lady from the beginning. But wait, they're part of Cerberus. Wasn't Cerberus the part that did like human experimentation and stuff? Like they were not good people. Um, wow, we're alive! Look, it's our shepherd! I want to change our eyebrows. I wonder if, like, they have better eyebrows in this one. Except imported face. Default appearance. Oh, no. I don't think I can change my eyebrows. I could try to like redo them maybe. I'm scared to press this because I'm scared I'm gonna lose my shepherd. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm scared that I'm gonna like mess it up if I press confirm. Okay, I can go back. I think I'm gonna try to remake my shepherd because I think the eyebrows are probably better on this one. <laughs> um, let me see. Brow. Let me see. Hair. 
Ooh, there's like new hairstyles too. I think that's the one we have. I like our hairstyle. It's very like Tomb Raider. Um, brow height, brow depth. I don't think we can change the eyebrows. Yeah, so we might as well just keep our old shepherd. Because I don't think I can change. All right, that's okay. I don't want to like mess up anything. I want it to feel like our shepherd, our Ira. So I'll just select this one. Okay, so infiltrators on here and we're definitely 100% going to stick with the infiltrator class. I think I'm going to really like it still. I loved infiltrator in Mass Effect 1 and I've only heard that it gets better from here. So we are going to be picking infiltrator again. Infiltrators are equipped with cloaking systems that allow them to avoid detection for short periods of time. That's cool. Granting a tactical advantage over enemies. Power training is tactical cloak, incinerate, and AI hacking. Weapon training, obviously sniper, heavy pistol, and submachine gun. Uh, ammo training in cryo and disruptor. Those sound like the weapon like perks. Like these sound like perks that we use to like put on specific guns. Infiltrators are tech and combat specialists with the unique ability to cloak themselves from visual and technological detection. Infiltrators are deadly out of any range with a wide variety of weapons, equipment, and powers that can take down any enemy. All right, Ira Shepard. I'm so happy we're alive. I was like really sad. <laughs> like I was enjoying the comic book part of it, but like, like my stomach is actually still in pain right now because I thought they killed off my character already. Okay, once you confirm your character is complete, you'll be unable to make any changes. Okay. And we get to keep like our Ira. She's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. <gasps> We're alive! Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Yeah, that's the same lady. Damn it, Carson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard. Don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is oh, no. off the charts. Stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. Oh, no. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. <laughs> Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Oh, she's really pretty. I don't know if we can trust them, though. Why are they bringing us back to life? <laughs> Sleeping with one eye open. Do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. What? Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. Oh, my God. Under attack. Okay. Grab the pistol and armor from the locker. Weapons locker, get the pistol, gain experience. Wow, this is moving really fast. Um, finish your training to prove you're ready for active duty. Plus 30 renegade and 190 paragon. So do we have like a You don't have time to wait around Okay. Grab your weapon and Okay. 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 Get the pistol and armor from the locker. <laughs> this pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a Um, Someone's hacking exit. trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for Okay, interesting. We have to press space bar now. That's weird. Okay, reload. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Was there anything else in here that I needed to grab? Doesn't look like it. Okay. <gasps> dead people here. Take cover. Um, hold W space bar to vault. Okay. Oops. To the wow, okay. Do we have like actual ammo now? Oh, I'm picking up like actual ammo. Interesting. Okay. There's nothing over there. Nothing there. Yeah, we're like picking up ammo. Interesting. Shepard, security makes a closing in on your position. Take. Ah! 
No more. Okay. Where's our health bar? Is it at the bottom? Okay, it's at the bottom. Wow, this is wildly different than Mass Effect 1, but I love the shooting so far. I'm excited. It feels way different, but it's like a good difference. It's very nice. It feels it feels like we're actually shooting a pistol instead of just kind of like a pew pew. Like it's I actually feel like I'm actually shooting now. It's pretty cool. Alright, here's some more I need to make sure I'm picking up ammo now. That's wild very different um real quick i'm just gonna go through some like settings real quick it's a little bit too sensitive for me um yeah let's bump this down to like maybe 35. we'll start with 35. camera sensitivity okay i'm gonna keep all that the same um graphics is there like blur motion blur okay motion blur is off still good okay should be good what about fov okay so we can't change fov that's fine i didn't think that we could but it was worth a shot oh my god <gasps> what is that <gasps> Okay. Oh my god, what is that? Grenade launcher. Left shift. Oh, okay. So it's the same where we can like pick guns. Okay. Cool. Take two out. Oh. Are they down? Okay. Well, that was easy. Okay, and I can middle scroll to... Whoa, that's an elevator. Hurry, get to the door. Run. Um, space bar. Okay. That sounds bad. Cerberus laptop access data logs. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Are we a Cerberus experiment? What is going on right now? What I remember from like Mass Effect 1 Cerberus is that they were the people that were putting all of like the human testing and stuff like that. Like they were not a good organization. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over 4 billion credits so far. Hey. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. What was the guy's name that Miranda was talking to? Like Shadow Guy or something? It was something weird. Illuminous Man? Illucious Man? Something like that? This is crazy. What is going on? All right, let's get out of here. Nothing over here. Who's that? <gasps> no! Oh my god. He's talking about Miranda. I don't really want to go in there. I don't want to fight that thing. You're up. I've got him. Who's that? Yeah, shut On target. What are you doing here? The 
thought you were still a work Jacob? in progress. Who are you? Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Okay. Um, yeah, just a few questions. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm <laughs> sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Yeah, what's Fair happening? Enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. Two You've been years? Or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Two years? That's a... I'm having trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. Oh my if god. If we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. What about my crew? Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. I want to know about my crew. Clips, but I'm a biotic. Two years. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. The good stuff, okay. So, there's the good stuff. Two, two years? That's such a long time. What has been happening in this time? Falling back. Okay, I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? Um, I want to know everything. What were my injuries? You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Ew. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. Cutting edge? What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. So we have some cyber stuff inside of us. What's Project Lazarus? Can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Why? Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Can I ask why me? Um, ask about my crew. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. That's good. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. <sighs> but everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Where are they now? Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. Oh my god. They've moved on. <gasps> Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. I want to find them. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Oh my god. Uh, two years. That's a long time. Who are you? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally, I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. This is so crazy. Are we still playing Mass Effect? Like, this is wild. <laughs> um, yeah, what are we being attacked here? Actually, I want to ask about Miranda first. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? No, it didn't sound good, though. There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. All right, why are we being attacked? Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it, what they're after. Dan Fino. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. 
You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Okay. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we... Check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell... Never mind. You need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Who is that? Why did he sound, like, concerned that I'm alive? I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. Oh, is that That's that him. guy? He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly oh. to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Maybe he's just concerned that, like, I'm not ready to be alive. I don't know. That sounded weird, right? He was like, what the hell? Log update. The Lazarus Project is about to enter the final phase. It's taken nearly two years, but we did it. Commander Shepard is alive. This is the most amazing medical achievement Yeah, maybe he's just concerned. History. Okay, yeah, maybe he's just like concerned that I shouldn't be awake and like up right now. I don't know. Because he seemed excited that we were alive there. This is creepy. They've seen us. Who's that? I've got him! Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling. Find us another route out of here. Preferably one that doesn't lead straight into an enemy squad. Just keep moving toward the control room. Don't get pinned down. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Oh, God. They found me. Help. Wilson. Wilson. Where are you? Server room B. Hurry. They're out of control. Server room B. Oh, God. I'm hit. They shot me. What the heck? Um, wait, what's this way? Oh my god, there's so many dead people here. Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who she was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter her identity in any way, if she's somehow not the woman she used to be, the Lazarus Project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. What in the world? Why are we so important to the Cerberus project? To the, or the Cerberus group? What the heck? Shepard, down here! What, where are you? Oh, here he is, Wilson. Bastards got me in the leg! Mm, let's get you out of here. I remember you. I do remember you. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> We talk about this after we fix my leg. Should be some meta gel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully, there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the meta gel from the first aid station on the wall. Okay. Hold left shift to access your command menu. Move your mouse over the Unity Power. Uh, so we don't have like a quick heal group button anymore. We just have to we have to go into the menu. Interesting. Okay. I like the, I missed the quick heal. <laughs> Pressing like B to heal. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? This guy is weird. He's giving me the creeps. Like he's ex he's over explaining. He's I don't know if he's just like spicy because he's just a spicy dude or because he's being sus. I don't trust any of you yet. You're all strangers to me. Let's <laughs> get someplace safe and then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Also, uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D-wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? 
Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead or she's a traitor. Now he's finger pointing? Oh, heck no. He's sus. He's a weird dude. He's got something up his sleeve. I don't know. He's like rubbing me the wrong way. <laughs> also, why wasn't he with us? Like if he's the person in charge besides Miranda for our health, why wasn't he with us? Why was he all the way over here? I mean, I guess because he was trying to stop the attack, but wouldn't he want to stay with us? I don't know. This is strange. She tried to help me. Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Yeah, not you. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. Now he wants to kill Miranda. Shadow Bay is only a few. Oh my god. Or we can just do that. These mechs don't know when to quit. Is that? That's not down. Oh, we have to clear the canisters. Okay, come back over here and do your i'm guessing it's this one overload okay that's it let's Big get out of here boom. okay we took him down but this is getting tense shepherd if i tell you who we work for will you trust me this really isn't the time jacob we won't make know it you if she's expecting Cerberus. a shot in the back if you want to piss off the boss it's your ass jacob the lazarus project the program that rebuilt you it's funded and controlled by cerberus uh, why would Cerberus save me? I wiped out my share of Cerberus projects when I was a Spectre. Back then they were trying to kill me. Why the change of heart? Those answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the Elusive Man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man? Elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. Code name for the Alliance. Kind of reminds me of, like, the Shadow Broker. Um, he'd better have answers. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. Yeah, I need all of them. I need answers. Spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to tell you whatever you want to know. It's not much farther really? to the shuttle bay. Immediately follow the first contact for an anonymous. Oh, it's a codex update. Um, okay, we got some renegade. There's a lot of stuff popping up here and it's moving very quickly. What the heck is that? Salvage some credits. So that's a 1600. That's a lot of credits. Okay, we can't go that way. This is like mind boggling. I feel like I'm like jutted out of like a, a weird dream or something where like I'm having a nightmare. <laughs> Wild. Get over here. I'm about to die. Sternal. I need a second. Are they all down? Let's grab some ammo. I think I'm full. What is that? A little ship? about to die I need help I need help <laughs> all right there's my team I was waiting for them to come up here all right I think they're all down now All right, there is one way to go over here. Docking station two. Looks like the door is red though. Come on, 
through here. We're almost at the... Miranda. Oh, it's Miranda. But you were... I knew it. Dead. I knew he was sus. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Um... That's your idea of due process? I mean, if he is a traitor, I get it, but also, yeah. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? <laughs> he sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You True. sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learned that by now, Jacob. No, you can't question him, though. You should have taken him alive, see what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. She just looked down at his dead body. What? Who is this lady? If you say so, what's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, uh, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Um, I want to know more about the Lazarus Project. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. Why? What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Mm, yeah, obviously. Seeing two years of scientific research and billions of dollars spent on recreating me, I want to know why. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. What if I don't go? I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. She wouldn't let us do that. She wouldn't let us stay. Two years of all, of making us come back to life, she wouldn't let us stay on here. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Dang. Some might have survived, though. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. <sighs> Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. Stop looking down at his dead body and talking to him like... <laughs> She's a psychopath. Oh, we're leaving? Okay. I wish there was a way. I feel like we missed a room back there to loot. Hopefully there was nothing good in there. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Dang, we're leaving. Okay. I think there was a room I could have gone down, but I didn't realize it was a cutscene over here. That's okay. This is crazy. What is going on right now? <laughs> I am like... We're working with Cerberus. Cerberus wanted us to like come back to life. We're back to life. Before you meet with the elusive man, it's been we two need to years. Ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests. Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Yeah, two years. Like, what has been going on? Where is my crew? They're all split up and they're not a part of the Alliance anymore, according to Jacob. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? God. Two years and 12 days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid, raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? I had no choice. A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. 
You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Poor Caden. It was a hard choice. I left a friend to die that day and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Whoa, look at that spaceport. Our skin looks crazy. How like our scars have like red shining through b behind them. It's like very wild looking. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. It's kind of like we're like bionic now or something. All right, so we're at this spaceport, another Cerberus center. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. Okay. Doing some testing here, probably on humans. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Okay, okay. Armor locker? Wow, this is cool. Armor type? Helmet? Whoa. <gasps> Whoa! That's actually really cool. I like that. Recon hood? A hood issued to convert convert action teams. This model's optic display display interfaces with most small arms auto targeting software, linking hand and eye for improved accuracy and increased weapon damage. Whoa. Ballistic mesh fabric and composite ceramic plating provide necessary armor, and the integral air filter helps in hostile environments, increasing weapon damage by five percent. I feel like we should keep that on. Mm, this one increases health by 5%. What does this one do? Breather helmet? Nothing. Oh, increases health by 5%. I feel like this one's good. And we weapon damage? Chest plate? Shoulder guards? Maybe we get, like, more eventually? I don't know. Material. Wow, this is crazy. It's so much more customizable. <laughs> and tint. Whoa! I can be green, I can be violet, I can be... Oh, that one looks really cool. I like it. It kind of matches our helmet. Ooh, with like the black accent. Let's do like a deep purple. I think that's brown. Uh, we can just do black. Pattern. Oh, like camouflage or something. That's kind of cool. It accentuates our chest region. Wait, where's the black color? I think it's this one. This is so cool how they made it so customizable. Yeah, I feel like that one looks okay. I think I might just not do a pattern. Looks better without it. Okay, is that it? I can't change like the red stripe. That's bothering me. Oh my gosh. All right, it's fine. Nice. Casual appearance. We can pick our outfit. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, this is cool. Whoa, <laughs> like jogger. Wow. Hoochie, hoochie. I kind of like this one. It reminds me of Tally. I think I might just pick this one for now. Yeah, let's pick this one. Okay. Um, sorry, where's the elusive man? Was this a door back here? No. He must be down here somewhere. What's happening? Whoa, we're a 
Graham. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. What you and I know? You don't know me? He obviously knows us. I mean, he went out of his way and spent billions of dollars to have us reconstructed. He knows us. I just need some answers. And what, well, yeah, what do we know? What exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one woman, one very specific woman, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? He's creeping me out with his eyes. Cause like, remember when Saren started to get like, taken over, he started to get taken over by the Reaper, the Sovereign, and they were making, he even made it a point to say they were upgrading him. And then the next time we saw him, his arm was completely like, reaperized like i have a i don't know i'm just getting weird vibes from his eyes unless it's just like a technology thing but um yeah you're not my friend i don't know i don't really know who you are why are you asking me how i'm feeling you need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions cerberus isn't as evil as you believe you and i are on the same side we just have different methods cut to the chase what are the reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back we're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Tell me more about Cerberus. What makes them so good? Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Yeah. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Interesting. Um, why me? You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Wow, that's deep. That's a good point. Wow, okay. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Hmm. All of this kind of makes sense. So they're coming, they're, they're abducting whole entire colonies. They have to be, like he said, harvesting, maybe making some sort of human army, turning them into the Geth um, through their little spikes or whatever, however they're doing it. It's very interesting. And yeah, I mean, we've worked at the Alliance before. The Alliance that we knew is no longer, so it's strange that they're still on the same line of like, we don't trust the Alliance. They're just going to take forever to do anything. If you want something done right, you better do it yourself type of attitude. It's just interesting that he's brought us back to life like this. It's very interesting. Maybe I believe you. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. 
Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Am I supposed to trust them? Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. For now? Okay. Do I have a choice? Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Interesting. I don't really believe... I mean, I believe everything that he's saying up into the part when he was like, if you don't find what you're looking for, you can leave at any time. He spent billions of dollars to make us come back to life and funded the entire Lazarus project. There's no way in heck he is going to let us not be a part of his Cerberus agenda after this like he has to hold that over us for a while right i don't know i just feel very strange about all of that uh open menu and access squad to spend points okay so escape is now menu um we have a whole codex to look through which i am definitely gonna do off stream um i'm gonna look through them so i did this in mass effect one where i looked through them off screen if there are any new ones that pop up during our playthrough and they're like a primary one, I'm probably going to stop and like do it just because I love the lore behind these games. I'm assuming that some of these will be the same. If I find some like interesting ones that I want to share with you guys, um, I will do that in the next episode. But for now, I'm going to go off screen just since this is the very first episode in this amazing playthrough. I'm so excited about this game. Um, I'm going to go through and do this by myself tonight and kind of just like learn more about it because I love the lore in this game. And if I find anything interesting, I'll, I'll let you guys know. All right. So these are our missions. I kind of miss the like the blue look. I don't know. The brown's okay, but brown's really not my favorite. Um, For like a dashboard. I don't know. Uh, investigate the missing colonists. So that's our prologue awakening. A ship is waiting for you in the hangar bay to take you to freedom's progress. But it's not the Normandy. It's not the Normandy. I miss our ship already. Look for clues that might explain what happened to the missing colonist. Okay. Um, and then I guess those are like side quests or something when we get those. Let's take a look at the squad. To upgrade your powers with squad points, click on a new power level, then click purchase. Below your portrait is a summary of Paragon and Renegade. With more points, you can unlock new conversation options. Oh. Interesting. These are the only ones we can pick from? Very interesting. Wow, this is wildly different than the power system and, and ME1. So now we get extra dialogues based on if we have higher pa paragon or renegade interesting hmm, very interesting okay so let's take a look at these disruptor ammo rips through shields and shreds synthetic targets cryo ammo so i'm guessing we don't get perks individually on our guns anymore it is kind of cool that in the infiltrator class we get cryo and um well i didn't really play with the disruptor or incinerate because i don't think incinerate was in there but i did play with i did do cryo pretty often i loved the cryo um, mod that you could put on the bullets i thought that it was one of my favorites for sure and now we have this tactical cloak to your enemies you're invisible your weapon damage is more punishing and frequent and targets enemies is easier let's throw a point in there for sure plus five health weapon damage recharge time Wow, this is interesting. So we get all of our, our powers now through... Wow. Okay. Um, so purchase. And then I think I might throw... 
I haven't tried Tactical Cloak yet, so I'm not like 100% sure. I think I might throw it into ammo. Or we can... Oh, wait. Required Disruptor Ammo Rank 2. Okay. So let's go ahead and do Disruptor 2 so that we can open up Cryo. Oh, it took two points. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Tactical Cloak Rank 2. Explode flame damages the health and armor of anyone nearby. Wow. Um, what's AI hacking? Temporarily hacks a synthetic enemy to attack its former allies. One squad point is required. And incinerate rank two. Okay, so let's do tactical cloak. Yeah, let's do... I don't want to do operative just because of the health bonus. Yeah, I think I'm going to do operative first because of the health bonus. And we're we're babies. We're still starting out. Usually when I start a game, I like to focus on health and like armor first. And then I start to get into like doing more like incinerate and all that stuff. So I think operative will be first and then I'll pump one into cryo. Yeah, I think that's a good start. And then we'll probably save up two points for Tactical Cloak too, so that we can open up Incinerate and eventually AI hacking. I think that's a good plan. To upgrade your powers with squad points, click on the back. Okay. So I can't look at anyone else's. Aren't we with other people? No map yet. All right. Let's go back up and talk to these guys. I'm guessing they're going to tell us a little bit more about what's going to happen next. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. <laughs> Just remember who's in charge. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations. Yeah, I can't tell if she's jealous or if she's just kind of like wondering if her research and all of her two years went successfully thanks for resurrecting me i never got a chance to say how much i appreciated what the lazarus project did for me i just hope it was worth it a lot of people lost their lives on that station yeah i i'm getting a sense that she doesn't like us is there a problem here for someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Oh, wow. Okay. Where'd you train? Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. She's so, like, standoffish. It's very odd. Makes it harder to trust her. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. Like what? What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. I'm glad he was in charge. Yeah, I don't want... Um, okay. I'm glad he was in charge. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. Yeah. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. His gamble, okay. I don't know if I like her. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. 
until the disappearance. Any idea what we'll find? Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. Interesting. Yeah, I can't tell if I can trust her or not. She's giving me some weird vibes. But then again, looking back at like my favorite squad member, Rex, I really didn't like him in the beginning either. And I ended up loving him. So um, I hope we can run into Rex and our crew at some point. I'm probably going to cry. <laughs> We've been through so much already. It's crazy. I just want to see our crew. I feel like we're playing a different... Like, I know we're playing a different game, but like... I just wanted the nostalgia of like, like you saw how excited I got when I saw the Normandy. I just, I want to, I want it all back. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. Yeah. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Yeah, she's very uh, standoffish, this Miranda lady. Maybe she'll warm up to us. But for right now, she's, I'm keeping my eye on her. I'm going to keep my eye on her. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Mm. I didn't join Cerberus. I mean, technically, right? We didn't join Cerberus yet. We're just kind of like here doing, I mean, we're, we're doing its bidding. Uh, okay. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Yeah. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? I'm not sure. I kind of do just because he's so honest. And he came to us right away with like, hey, just a heads up. I want to let you know who you're working for. Like he's been very transparent since the moment that we've seen him. I want to say yes. I do trust you, actually. I do. You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Yeah. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Interesting. Why? You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. Corsair? I've never heard of the Corsairs. What is that? It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Okay. Mm Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's actually a very good point. I remember Garrus saying the same thing about working for the Alliance, how like everything's behind red tape. You feel like you're not really getting anywhere. You feel like your missions are like so one-sided that you can't really complete your task how you want to. I mean, aside from him wanting to, like, murder people that deserve to get murdered. Um, yeah, Gary's kind of said the same exact thing. Interesting. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Okay. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. All right. So we got some Paragon points for those. Interesting. Well, I think we're going to leave our very first mission for next time. Honestly, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> like, so much has happened in this amazing first episode that, like, I feel like I need a second to, like, breathe. Like, I would love to jump in there right now and get started and stuff like that. I feel like it's going to, like, extend the video by too long, so... We're gonna call it stops here. I just, I can't like explain all the feelings that are like going on in my stomach and my mind right now. Like I am just so excited. I'm sad. I hope that we get to run into our crew at some point. I'm not really sure if we're gonna ever run into them. I mean, we have to eventually, but when? Why haven't they come looking for us? I mean, we've just gotten here, I guess, but uh, I just want our crew back. I want the Normandy back. 
we're about to get on some probably really nice ship looking at this place here we're probably gonna get on some like super nice cerberus scientific ship of some sort i don't know i'm just like I have so many questions. I have, there's so many, I don't think I've ever come into a next game where like just right off the bat, it's like a hundred percent different. There's so many unanswered questions. I want to find out where it's going. Like this is very, very good so far. I am loving every second and I can't wait to get back into the next video with you guys. So thank you all for joining me today. I will see you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed today as much as I did. Bye, everyone. I'll see you next time.